Hello and welcome. Silver is here with Civilization 6. And it is finally time to bump this up to DT. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, now what I wanna do, I think I'm gonna run a Pangea map. And do I wanna run a standard or a small size? Let's do small. Let's do small Pangea. With a couple extra city states. Playing Catherine of France on DT. 11 city states, Pangea small, everything else is gonna be uh, uh, standard, 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 and let's go. So, I've never actually played Catherine before. Uh, I'm combining this with a, a couple of first time things. So, never played Catherine, never before played DT. It is very much time to crank it up to DT and start really learning the, the how to play the game on the hardest difficulty. And, what I'm gonna try to do here is I'm gonna try and win a cultural victory. Um, that at least that is the the, the general plan here to start uh, start off. With. I've never um, uh, never won a cultural victory. I've never actually tried to win a cultural victory. Let's put it that way. So, because usually when I play this game, I just load up a civilization that look, looks interesting. I play it a while and realize, uh, think of to myself, okay, uh, I I have enjoyed this game long enough. Now let's play something else. I, I don't need I don't have this need to finish games, so to say. So um well So but this time the the uh, idea is to um win a cultural victory uh, or fail for five hundred turns because after five hundred turns we are gonna have a score victory. Or a third option is that somebody else wins some other kind of victory condition, or or we just get rushed by the AI at the very beginning and 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 lose the entire game. That is a possibility as well. Now, uh, there is Plains Hill right here. I can't really move on to that. There is Plains Hill right here though, and that would be next to the Ivory. That could be interesting. Let's step on that and see what we have. This is coastline. It looks like. So if I settle on spot, I lose this nice little forest here, but this is Plains Hill. So I'm thinking I will settle on spot. Because I can use one of these uh, uh, mountains here to um, for campus adjacency and, and so on. Um, maybe this is desert here. Apparently I am kind of in top corner of the map, so there should be no AI here. I might have lots of freedom to... Um, well, so at least some freedom to 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 uh, plant cities around here. So that seems reasonable enough. All right, let's settle on spot. That that settles that. Now, um, typically, I uh, I have so far realized that I love warrior start. Like, because scout. My problem with scout is the fact that scout is a lot of production, a lot of turns at the very early again, early on in the game. Uh, for a unit that does not fight anything. So if I get rushed by an AI, this thing does nothing. Uh, if I uh, get rushed by barbarians early, this thing does nothing. And so on. Um, it is, however, very good for a couple things. Finding out where everything is. So I'm thinking I will tr start a scout here, because... Um, because uh, I would love to get uh, meet three city states to get to political philosophy as fa fast as possible. Uh, actually, maybe I want drama and poetry before it to get uh, um, theater squares. That might be a thing. And also uh, this uh, boost to get an early campus for a nice science boost. That could that could be a thing as well. All right. Um, all right then. So. I am gonna go scout. All right. Um, out of curiosity, what tile we are working? Um, yeah, work that. We don't have any good growth tiles here until we grow into here or here. Preferably here, so I can upgrade it as well for irrigation boost. All right. Uh, what do I need? I think I need animal husbandry fairly quickly to get both ivory and the sheep on. But other than that, I don't really have anything. Um. Mining is always good, so I can eventually remove the forests, like, just cut the trees down. But that's not a priority right now. Unless I want to put the campus here, and I don't think I do. I'm thinking the campus, like, right here or somewhere like here would make more sense. So it's a little bit away from the capital, because 
doesn't really need all the other adjacency things. If I put it here, I can g have a commercial um, or or like a t -t -t theater square here, and that would give an adjacency and, and stuff. So that that could be a thing, indeed. All right. Uh, I'm thinking it's animal husbandry, and maybe we get lucky and there are horses somewhere nearby we can uh, take advantage of as well. Alright, so let's make sure this is actually a coastline. Yep, that is a coastline. I'm gonna start going in this general direction and explore up top here, um, you know, a little later. So I can have a coastal city right here. One, two, three. Yep. Uh, I can have a coastal city like right here. Uh, right here would be perfect. I can have some crabs and and all sorts of other things. That seems, and also uh, another another luxury resource. Yeah, seems pretty nice. Seems very nice. And that is also already the first barbarians, huh? Let's go uh, smack them around, huh? Aha! I found my first city state. Uh, see if we can scare these barbarians away. Um, so I'm the first to meet you, and that gives me a little bit of a science boost. 15% um, higher in cities with a campus district. This is not awful, but I'm not gonna build that many campuses, I don't think. I do want one campus at least for some early science to speed me along to the better technologies, but um, overall I don't think this is, the, this is something we really, really want. Um, of course it's useful. Uh, plus two science is, is very nice though. What do you want? Train a galley. It's probably not happening. Yeah, maybe. Okay, uh, you go over there. You come over here. Let's do a little bit of scouting around here. Now, um, I could try and get a monument up right now. To uh, get this culture game going even faster. That could be actually real nice, but that could be also very, very greedy play here. Uh, where are we growing at the moment? Uh, we're going to get that ivory up very soon. I could buy, uh, get that ivory and buy these two tiles and upgrade all of them. Um, uh, I mean, I'm talking about getting a builder to get the craftsmanship boost as well. Um, that could be pretty nice, get me much faster to the political philosophy. Oh, that's correct. I don't need craftsmanship to get drama and poetry. Oh, that is interesting. Do I want to try to get this done before I even get political philosophy to allow me to uh, build theater squares? Very interesting. Alright, um, I'm gonna leave that be for the moment. I'm just gonna leave this, uh, this, this right now as uh, the thing. Um, this plus one culture would get me there faster. Uh, builder would get me a boost and, and would be quite nice because I do need the growth from some of these tiles. That could be pretty nice because I do need this city to grow. Another warrior would make make my uh, my life so much safer, though. I am thinking I'll do the warrior just to be on the safe side, and then I have another car another thing to scout this northern area with. All right, let's uh, wander uh, the, the warrior around a little. I want to know where the barbarians are coming in from. All right, there is a tornado now running a, a, a around the place. Okay, where is the barbarian camp? It has to be somewhere here. All right, animal husbandry is done. So we can actually upgrade these and that, which will be quite nice. Um. I don't really want us to do archery. Wait, 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 wait. Do I wanna... There are horses here. Can I settle for those horses? I can. I can settle for those horses. I was just thinking, um... Early Temple of Artemis? For a wonder I could do? 
Um, does it have to be on... Most people place it adjacent to a camp. Because this should be a camp, right? Uh, camp. Go. Uh, yes, ivory is a camp. I've never built Temple of Artemis. And so I am I'm considering like that that could be a thing we try to get. Hmm. But I do want the uh, the the campus first. Anyway. So uh Settler City here, Temple of Ar bloody well, there isn't like no production out of that city. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. If I settle it here, I can have this and this tile. That is kind of nice though. I have to say this kind of nice. And I can buy this tile, uh, um, do the ca uh, camp out of it, and I, I can buy the tile from here and put the Temple of Artemis over there. And then uh, have, have that work out that way. Hmm. That could be a possibility. Still, it's uh, a lot of production which is going into other things than... Uh, what my general plans here are. Um, okay, I do not have code of laws, but I'm gonna smack this thing anyway. Take a little bit of damage out of that. All right, I'm first to meet Kabul, which uh, and who inspiration for early empire. All right, all right then Kabul. Um, this this is a little bit better. Double experience from battles they initiate. That that's that, that would be helpful if I wanted to bore everybody, but I don't. All right now, I just need to third, need to find a third one of these folks. Okay, that definitely makes my warriors come out a little faster. All right. Ooh. Major defeat. Okay, um, let's take a little bit of more damage with the scout, and ah, if I, if only I had had the uh, desi discipline, this would have been victory. Okay, I cannot do settler still because I do not have growth. Um, I'm gonna do the builder now because I do want the growth. All right, good. I can remove the scout or that thing out of the out of here. All right, warrior. Let's go up here. See what is here. Ooh, is there a, is there a uh, natural wonder over there? Um, barbarians, barbarians over there. All right, all right. Ah, there is a natural wonder over there. Most uh, one golden and and stuff to the adjacent. These. Oh, there is a barbarian camp over there as well. All right, now we really need to take care of these barbarians. Um, you you just run around a little bit before you before somebody mo. I'm gonna check like down here, I think, to see if there is a third um city state around. So I think this so this camp needs to go first, I think. This one hasn't activated anything so far, but I do want to uh, bring a city around here and try and take advantage of this, especially if this this river ends somewhere here to so where I could put a city in, because that is a lot of science and gold I can get out of this uh, area. That would be pretty dang nice. Right, there is pottery. Uh, I do need to meet up. Oh, another natural wonder. All right. Do I ever have a lot of those, huh? Around. Um. Okay, let's. Uh, okay, yeah. The, the the there is river going up here, and I can settle here. <laughs> and take advantage of this. This is real nice, huh? Plus one gold, plus one science, and this this thing is uh, um. Appears as lake provides culture, gold, and production. Does not provide fresh water though. That sucks a little. All right. Now, what do I do science-wise? Um, 
thinking we'll start writing and I'm gonna end it uh, before it finishes because I do want to meet another civilization. Oh bloody well, there is a scout then. Well then scout, let's go uh let's get going. Come here and let's take hill movement. Ah, that is one of those. Let's grab that. Exploring the north side at the same time. Okay, good. I have code of laws. Mm, let's start with foreign trade, I think. Um, you go and take care of that. Military tradition boost. Not all that useful. City needs food. Wait, what? Why does it need food? Oh right, yeah, yeah, because we do not have any food. I need to buy this tile and upgrade that tile. I can wait, uh, uh, wait a sec. Anyway. Government! Put that in, put that in to get a little bit more production out of the uh, city, and then we charge the scout. Let's bring you over, and... We have a really damn nice spot here, but we don't have a whole lot of, um... Building granary would give me food. Building a settler will drop me back down to one population and I can settle this, this city here. Oh bloody well. Not good. Uh, so not good. Alright. Ah... Uh, Okay then. Go over here. Over there actually and hide. You stay here and hide. Uh, upgrade that. Alright, barbarians. How many warriors just came out of that freaking camp? Well then. Uh, Alright, I just discovered another uh, another one of these guys. It was not the first to meet you, that means there is a uh, civilization somewhere nearby. Take that. And where would that civilization be? Down here. Uh, get out of writing for the moment. Start towards um, irrigation, I think. No, actually I don't need irrigation. Let's start towards mining. Okay, uh, you fortify over there. You step here and we are buying that tile. I'm buying that tile, so you can go over there and upgrade that. It gives me a little bit more gold and stuff. Um, you've worked that, you worked that. So we can actually grow a little bit here. Well, there is Congo. Hello there. Right, that is my writing boast. Um, have a delegation. Have fun with the delegation. You come over here. Um, I mean, having you here is kind of nice because it's a nice defensive modifier. Let's keep you there and let's swap these around once when we get. Wait, where is the other civilization? What? Did I meet another civilization? Yeah, I was not the first to meet Antioch. Hmm? Ah, foreign trade boost, fantastic. Ah, it's a city state. Well, there you have it. Um, there is foreign trade boost, which is fantastic. Oh, 
Well done. You upgrade that. You have promotion, take Palcroy. This is kind of what I meant about this scout being a unit which does not uh, protect me in any shape or form. And then I have a settler whom I can do absolutely nothing with. Swap you around. Again, um, go over this uh, direction. You just wait. And let's crank out another warrior. Huh? You have a promotion. Take the battle cry. Let's go in this general direction, see what is down here. Alright, bronze working, huh? I'm gonna lose all the all the things I just built, but so freaking what? You'll have to wait, because I can't actually do anything about that. Alright, go over here. Run away from the barbarians. Uh, get that going. Let's stop working that, work that. It's a much better tile. For the moment to get the, the warrior out. Uh, I do need archery fairly quickly here. Let's get that writing done though so I can b bring that. Well, or rather, I might need archery. And you'll have to wait, because I don't have anything to escort you still. Bloody well, there's a lot of barbarians here. Okay, there is my writing. Um, Alright, archery it is. Well, hello there, Canada. Hello there. Yeah. About that. Um, I do get another warrior out next turn. But I do think this is pretty much over on my part. Guess I, uh, I, can, I can try and get the warriors out. Uh, and to deal with this. But it's gonna take a long, long, long bloody time um, until I am all done <laughs> clearing out. What is that? Three slingers and a warrior? And that does not include the two um, camps still pumping out units. So, um, yeah. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna restart this thing. Let's see how that actually turns out, huh? Uh, overall, this start was otherwise really, really, really good, though, because um, Natural Wonders, this is a very nice Natural Wonder to take advantage of. This one I really couldn't take advantage of easily unless I put a city here, but I had uh, three city-states right nearby, and basically no contest for any of this land here, which is real, which would have been really, really nice. However, this, I think this is gonna take me... 30, 40 turns to really, really take care of. And that's gonna put me so far behind that I don't think I'm gonna get much out of this game. So yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna restart this. Huh? I'm gonna restart this. You know, drink something while this restarting is going on. Very good timing for that. Um, yeah, let, let's see. Um, I probably need to forget that scout. 
I think that that is what what I need to do. I need to just forget that scout because, um, had I uh had I um had a third warrior out, that would have been so much stronger to start off with. Okay, so I have an exploding mountain next to me. That is not good. Just wonder in that general direction. Okay, um. I may move away from the exploding mountain. I could technically go on here, onto this plains hill instead. There's mountains here, like if I settle here, I can get a campus still here and get the mountain adjacency from that. Um, I don't have all that awful tiles and there's diamonds over there. Also, I do have access, it's kind of far away, but I do have access to desert. And that would mean I could try and build pyramids out of my, uh, out of my capital. Ooh. Put the pyramids here. Does that mean I would like to move over here? No, because if I want the mountain adjacency with a campus, I need to stay here to be, have easy access to that. Alright, settle on spot. Alright, let's let's be a lot more safe about this now. Yeah, work that tile because uh, we want to grow the city. want to grow the city and there is that. Now, um, what do I want tech-wise? Um, Animal husbandry would make sense because there's lots of uh, planes here that I may hopefully get a horse tile from out of these, one of, from out of one of them. Mining would allow me to eventually get rid of the forest, which would, could be kind of nice. Um, this I need for the campus anyway. Hmm. And the granary is sort of nice. Not planning on trying to build a great path. I'm gonna start with the uh, animal husbandry because it will open up archery anyway as well as a possibility. In case I'm again getting rushed by uh by barbarians. Okay, that's a lot of rough terrain. Let's sort of get my warrior out of uh, out of there kind of quickly. Explore around with the warrior. Maybe we can find out the bow on. Like, if I'm exploring in this direction with my uh, warrior, the barbarians are gonna come from here or here or here, so... Ah! Coastline, again. Alright. Well then. Come uh, a circle from around here. Ooh, very nice find. Okay, good. I can get a couple of uh, seaside cities here. Um, sort of easily. Ah, free builder. Also, hello, Jerusalem. Train a galley, huh? Plus two faith in the capital. Cities with holy sites. Well, I'm not planning on building holy sites, so, uh, yeah, about that. But, train a galley. Um, in general, though, uh, plus two faith will give me a pantheon, which is not a horrible, uh, horrible thing. And the fact that I got one of you folks is real nice, because I can... Put down a farm right away, to, uh, which is going to uh, blow up when this 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 mountain explodes. But it, it will uh, it will definitely give me a uh, nice nice extra growth into this city, which is very much welcome, and also give me an irrigation boost. All right, another exploding mountain. Oh, look bloody well. Well then. Um, I could buy this tile and, and upgrade that, but I don't think I wanna. I think I'm gonna have just hang you around for a little bit. Ooh. Please tell me I'm... Nah, I wasn't the first to meet you, was I? You want an encampment. That's probably not gonna happen. And I wasn't the first to meet you, so no culture bonus for me. Wait, what was your bonus? Highest active alliance level. Theater squared is plus 50%. Ooh, that is good. We want that. 
we want that. All right, let's let's start exploring in that general direction because there is another civilization somewhere who has met you. All right, um, settler takes a long bloody time to get out, so I don't need a builder out right now. Actually, you can go and do that. Stand over there so we can get that. Um, I have the double warrior out. Uh, do I do I get a slinger or a possibly a scout out right now? A monument could do also. But so I would love to have a settler, but that settler is going to take such a long time to get out. However, uh, I'm going to get a third population here pretty soon. Pretty soon. Um, stop working that and work that. For the extra production out of it. That cuts the settler down to 13 turns. Uh... I am. I'm. This is, this is the point where I'm like, okay, am, am I gonna be greedy or not? Hmm. 